Hey guys, this is MJ with, with another tutorial about how we can create dependent drop-down list in Google Sheets. Well, I am not a developer and I don't know how to write a code so far. And it's just a simple representation of the problem when I were provided with a data to enter into Google Sheets which required to create dependent drop-down list. And if you are also not a code writer or developer, then this might help you too in some way. Well, here I have a simple sheet with three columns named customer type, product category and product. Well, to buy a product, a customer first picks a product category to select a certain product out of it. So let's create a drop down list for customer type. And since there is nothing else to be written in that column, we sure can select the whole column and then go to data tab and click on data validation. It will open the data validation window and since it will be a list from range, we don't need to change this option. And click on select data range and then go to the sheet where your customers list exists and select it. And then click on OK. And if you don't want to add another customer type, just select the reject input. And if you want to show the data validation help text, just select it or leave it as it is and then click on save. Now here you can see that it has created a drop down option in every cell and we can select a customer quite conveniently. And exactly the same way, we can create a drop-down list for the product category column. And since it's a product category, we just need to select the headings. And if there is nothing else to be written in the row except the headings, then we sure can select the whole row. But instead of selecting the whole row, I am just selecting a certain range including some blank cells just in case if there comes a time to add another category and then click on OK and then click on save. Now our drop down list is ready for customer type and product category columns and we can select the customer and product category quite conveniently. Now let's consider a customer picks some product category to buy a product and what he should see in the product column are the products that comes under the category he may pick in the product category column. So to do that, first we need to create the range names according to the product categories, means headings. So to create range names, select only the products and then click on data tab and select named ranges option. Here just give it the name cloth. And office supplies for the next range. And so on. Now our range names have been created and we can see them in the sidebar. Now let's consider a customer picks cloth category to buy a product. And what he should see in the product column are the products that comes under cloth category. And exactly the same way if he picks another category, let's say office supplies, then he should see the products that come under the office supplies category. So to do that, what we can do here is to apply a function named indirect on a new sheet. And for the indirect reference, select the cell where your product category range name will appear. 
In my case, it will be B2 cell in the product category column. And here you can see that the indirect function has picked all the products that come under the range name Office Supplies and showed them vertically. Now let's change the product category to Cloth. And here it should show the products that come under the range name Cloth. And here you can see that it's showing all the products that come under the Cloth category. Now, instead of letting it show vertically, we can use a function named transpose to show up horizontally. Now, here you can see that the products have been transposed from vertically to horizontally. And now, we can drag the formula down conveniently. Anyhow, select the relevant cell under the product column and go to data tab and select data validation. And here click on the select data range and then simply go to the sheet where you apply the indirect function and select either a specific range or the whole row since nothing else will be written in that row. And the other options on the data validation window can be selected according to the needs. Now here you can see that it's showing all the products that come under the cloth category. Let's say change the categories and see whether it's working properly or not. Well, here you can see that it's working fine. Well, when I drag the formula down, it keeps it fixed to the cell B2. And here you can see that in the data validation window, the reference hasn't been fixed as there are no dollar signs and still it's working like a fixed cell reference. And I'm pressing Ctrl plus Z to undo that. Anyhow, let's create another order and select the customer and category. Now, to show the concerned products that come under the office supplies category, we just need to drag the formula down. And there you can see that it's showing the products that come under the office supplies category. Anyhow, just ignore the rough error for now. We will fix that later. Now, all we need is to select the concerned cell under the product column and then go to the data tab and select data validation. And then just select that row. And here you can see that it's showing the products accordingly. Now let's change the category and see if it's showing the relevant products. And here you can see that it is showing the relevant products. And exactly the same way we can create the third order and so on. Well, it's better to show something else instead of the ref error here. And to do that, we can use another function named if error. And I'm just putting a dash. And you surely can pick or write something of your choice. And then just close the formula and hit enter. And now just drag the formula down to turn the ref error into dashes. And you can do the formatting according to your need. Well, 
if we need to add a new product in the data, we sure can. Just go to your concerned product category and insert a cell in the range and add your product there. And here you can see that it's showing in the drop down list right away. And if you add the new product at the end of the list, it will not show up in the drop down list. And what you can do here is just insert a cell in the range and drag and drop it there. And it will start showing up in the drop down list. And we can select that right away. And we certainly don't need the drop down option in the headings, which we surely can remove by going to the data validation window and clicking on the remove validation button. Now it's not showing drop down option in the headings anymore. Moreover, let's I create a new record after leaving some rows. And here you can see that the indirect formula does not exist in that row. And what we need is to just drag the formula down. And here you can see that the concerned products have shown up. And what we need is to just go to the data validation and select that certain row. And here we can select a product according to our need. Well, when this sheet completes with full of data and formulas, then we can turn this sheet into a master sheet. And then just copy the data to another sheet to manipulate it according to your need. And since this sheet is to be turned into a master sheet, we can delete all the data and start writing the new data. Anyhow, once the sheet has turned into a master sheet, then it would become quite convenient to add the dependent or multi-layer data efficiently. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.